Welcome back to the channel. This is part seven in our series on Flask to AWS. In this video, we're gonna configure the security group that we set up in the previous video and created the EC2 instance. Real quick before we get started, you can help me out a lot by doing a few simple things. Supporting me on either Patreon or GitHub sponsors, subscribing to the channel, liking this video and sharing on, on platforms you use like Reddit, Discord, etc. Starting the repo on GitHub and also follow me on GitHub. All these things help me out a lot. I really appreciate it. So let's get started. Roll the management console, go to the top, Search for EC2. Go to instances on the left if you aren't already. Click your instance, security, and click the security group. Scroll down. Inbound rules is what we're going to modify. Outbound rules, we're going to leave it as everything to just allow all traffic on every single port. Edit inbound rules. We already have this one defined already for port 80, we're allowing all traffic. This makes sense. We want anyone and everyone to be able to access our web app through their browser on port 80. We're also going to add a rule for all traffic from the security group, E98, E98, so same security group. All we're saying is we want to allow all traffic from the security group within itself to itself. So that means all the components can talk to each other inside of the security group. One more, we're going to do SSH, port 22. Where is this coming from? In the previous video on IAM, we created a key pair. We created the IAM user. What that key pair allows us to do is to SSH into our EC2 instance to run any kind of testing or modifications or any kind of debugging on our Docker container running inside our EC2 instance. We do not want to allow everyone to be able to do this though. We only want to allow ourselves to be able to SSH into our EC2 container. That's why we have SSH, port 22, and we're going to select my IP, where my IP corresponds to your static IP. Now you're probably wondering why haven't we done HTTPS port 443 for SSL? The reason being is we haven't added the SSL certificate to our application yet. We're going to do that in a later video and then come back to the security group. In the next video, we're going to configure the Route 53 domain for our web application. If you have any questions, just leave a comment below and I'll respond as quickly as I can. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.